Thank you very much. I'm David Chow from Microsoft Hong Kong, where I'm the product manager for Windows. But I'm not going to talk about Windows today. I'm not even going to talk about Windows tomorrow. I'm talking about digital devices 20 years from now. So what is it going to look like? What is it even going to do? You know, and what is it going to do for us? There we go. So a little bit of a history lesson for our young people here. On the right, we have this big box. Green letters on the black screen. You know, the old, I mean, the wise will remember this to be like what well, they were probably the first computer that they used. Very quickly, we moved more mobile, lighter, more flexible. The idea of a laptop or notebook. And today, we're talking about slates. So that is what you, you the young, are familiar with. But at the same time, that was a projector issue. Thank you. So now we're moving towards, to, towards the undiscovered. So this is the direction we're headed. So think about what is it going to, what is it going to feel like? You know, you're holding it. What is it going to be made of? Is it cold? Is it, you know, is it warm to the touch? Well, think about what it's going to be made of, and we're going to go all the way. We're going to break it down, all the way down to, excuse me. There we go. Sorry. Now, I know many of you guys do not think you're going to ever see this again the periodic table. So I want to point out why I mentioned this, right? Apple did something very interesting. They made the iPad, and it was very light and cool to the touch because they used it from over there, element 13, the aluminum alloy. Now, Microsoft we released something called the Surface, and it's made from magnesium. I didn't even know we could make something from magnesium. And I was talking to a colleague, and she was like, you know, she was working in the factory. She's like, yeah, we're making from magnesium alloy. I was like, can you make stuff from magnesium? She's like, yeah, I didn't know either. But the fact is, uh, what's going to be the next thing? I mean, think for yourself, is it going to be made from even lighter metal? Is it going to be projector issue again? Thank you. Uh, is it going to be like something like sodium over on the right-hand side? Is it going to be lithium? How many of you think it's going to be something like a gas? We make a computer from nitrogen, from oxygen. It's in the air all around us. How many think it's going to be even lighter than that? How many of you would think I'm crazy if I said we're thinking of creating a device that has no mass, no weight at all? And the idea is we're actually going to try to build one out of light. Light constructs you can manipulate with your hands or your voice or other commands. And the idea is you kind of wear something like a button right on your jacket here. So instead of saying projector and having to deal with all these projector problems right now, I just say wall and boom, there it is. I'm at the office. I am at my table and I say desk. There's my computer. Mm -hmm. You know? Guys, can we fix this, please? <laughs> OK. And then uh, if I don't have, if I walk on the street, I don't even have a phone, I just say hand, and that's what, that's what it's going to project. So moving onwards. By the time I finish this presentation, I'm going to figure out how this particular clicker works. The play video is on that. There we go. This is a prototype. Sorry, it's a little bit big right now, right? But it's actually going to be something very, very minuscule, very small. Probably you won't even notice it. Maybe a button, maybe a earring, maybe a ring, like you know, Green Lantern, making things out of this. You can see how he's actually manipulating it. And sorry, uh, yeah. Um, maybe you should stop playing around with my PowerPoints over there. <laughs> so the idea is we're going to be making these devices that you can manipulate with all these different gestures. And the funny thing is, you know, you're looking at this, okay, you know, some people are going to say something like Minority Report, that sci-fi movie. But the fact is, this is not from some major enterprise app. This is not even from military technology. This is something that you probably have at home. It's actually a video game system, a motion sensor thing. We actually call it Xbox Connect, where they detect your motions, and then they can react to it by creating light constructs. So we're losing the physical form of a computer, and that gives us so limitless possibilities. So the idea is, you know, like, where do we come from? Is this really new? I actually argue this is very old. This is as old as it gets. Because think about the, the evolution of human time and the technology, the tools, before computers, before the internet, before the, even the steam engine electricity, before the wheel, before the spear, before fire. In the very oldest text, it's recorded that, you know. To, to showcase some of that stuff. So again, the applications are just demonstrations of the possibilities of what you can enable if you have touch and gestures on any particular surface. And for us, this is enabled by this unique combination of projectors and cameras that right now uh, are worn, but we think we can be, they can be very miniaturized in the future. Probably actually we remember the text. In the beginning, there was heaven and the earth, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. I'm David Chow from Microsoft, and I'm not interested in changing the world. We've already done that once in Microsoft. We're interested in creating new ones.
let there be light indeed. Thank you.